What's going on guys, it's kinda great tin here. I'm back with another Forza Horizon 3 video or Will It Jag Race and today I am using the Mercedes AMG GTR and uh, this is because I just went and got the Porsche car pack the burning rubber car pack but then I had just enough money left over from the card that I got so I can get this Mercedes and um uh, it is really 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 nice car it and it sounds really good and it it's the price of it is well of course you have to get it through the car pack and you can it once you if you get it through the car pack then you get it for free but um, the price is two hundred thousand dollars but just listen to how it sounds though it sounds so good So, if if you don't like me talking over the sound of this, or you might not even like the sound of it, but I like this. I love the sound of it. But before, so without any upgrades on it, it takes 32 seconds to cross to, to finish the drag strip. So 32 seconds, and the finish speed is about barely 180 miles per hour, which I mean is not the best. It's definitely not the best. Like. The um, Lamborghini Aventador, it finished in 30 seconds, and the Subaru BRZ, which is originally a $23,000 car, is finished in 44 seconds, so it's a lot better than that. But, I mean, 32 seconds is, that's quite a bit, with only a finish speed of 182, or 180, that's it, not 82, but, anyway, but I'm about to go slap some upgrades on it, and then... We're gonna see how it does with the upgrades though. Okay, so I put some upgrades on it and unfortunately it does not have the great engine sound anymore. It is now a V12. But the upgrades, I mean this this is just crazy. The launch is just so crazy. So it took it cost me about a hundred and twenty thousand a little bit more than a hundred and twenty thousand dollars to upgrade it. But the ending time was 23 seconds, and its fit and it, it finish speed was 250. So it tops out at 250, but the launch on it is just crazy. I love the launch. So when you get this car for free, and then you put 120 thousand dollars worth of upgrades on it, and then this car is pretty amazing. Unfortunately, though, I love the sound on it. With I love like just the sound on it was amazing. But once you take that in, that once you put that V12 in there, which gives you tons of more power, but it takes the good sound away. But it's still an amazing car. And with 23 seconds, it actually beats the Koenigsegg, and it beats the Subaru BRZ, and it barely beats the Lamborghini Aventador. So that is pretty crazy for just $120,000. So here I tuned the car, but really, I mean, I couldn't really find another tune better, or I couldn't find a tune really a little bit better. I found one a little bit better than the one I had, but but I think from now on I'm just going to upgrade it and then look at the tunes to see if there's anything really worth getting. And if there's not really anything worth getting, then I'm just going to just do the upgrades on it. So that's just, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue doing that. And the tune was twelve thousand dollars, and it didn't change it at all. It just the end time was twenty three seconds, and the finish was two hundred fifty. So it was like identical to the upgrades that I got. Now the stats were a little different, and like uh, it was another like twelve thousand dollars. But all it, it was just that because they took off a roll cage, which brought the weight down a little bit, and they put on the four the hot wheel tires, and it was the same exact thing as the race tires. So there, it wasn't really worth it. So I recommend just upgrading it yourself for and then you're, it's going to be around $120,000 depending on which ones you like because you might like something different but I got all the upgrades I wanted and by the way I do want to note that uh, you want a all wheel drive on this car because you can I it's a, originally a rear wheel, rear rear wheel drive but you want an all all wheel drive cuz just even though it shows that the speed goes down a lot then it does not go down it actually goes up which I'll probably cover that in a different video but 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you have any suggestions to make this series better, please let me know down in the comments. And if you have any other cars that you want me to do, please let me know because I'm open to, suggest to suggestions. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again.